Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to save your MATLAB simulation waveform in a JPEG format for your presentation purpose or for your uh, paper writing work. Here the procedure which I am uh, telling you is to save the scoped output as a JPEG format in order to uh, use it anywhere uh, in your paper or any blog writing. So see friends, I am having a MATLAB 16 version installed on my PC. You may have a MATLAB 2010-2007 installed on your PC. It may vary according to your choice and uh, according to the need. But I am having a latest MATLAB 2016 version installed on my PC. Now just open any Simulink or your Simulink uh, simulation um, in the MATLAB. After clicking run, uh, my simulation is don't get confused. Uh, here is the active filters simulation which I have kept over here. I am just focusing on the fo uh, scope of this simulation. After running this uh, simulation you will find you will find uh, output waveform appeared on the scope. Here is output waveform of my scope uh, which is a three phase sinusoidal. In order to save this as a JPEG image you just need to click the configuration properties over there. Click on the logging see uh, initially it won't be a uh, ticked on a log data to workspace you need to take it you need to check that uh, box and you can save any variable number variable name uh, with your desire see I'm writing any sample output because it will be saved with this name and uh, you, you need to be very careful while selecting this you need to click it on a structure with time see this is very essential in order to save your in order to log your data to the workspace ok now click on apply click on ok now either you can close this or minimize this right now I am closing this here you can uh, find a simulation data inspector over there initially it won't be a uh, tick on this you won't find any red tick over there you just to click over there you will find any you will uh, new plane will open close this now click on the arrow over there and tick on this send logged workspace data to the data inspector ok you will find a red dot that red dot also signifies a recording mode ok now click on the run it will take a while to run my simulation the time may vary according to your simulation complexity you may find your simulation will run in a shorter time it is just because I have used a lot of components and parameters in my simulation so it is taking time let it complete see you will find this red dot over there that means it will be going to record whatsoever you have generated in this scope with your variable name which have we ha which I have given as a sample output see let it run After completing this, I am going to tell how to get output waveform as a image format. See friends, you will find it is glown, it is glown to the orangish color. Ok, now click on this simulation data inspector tool. You will find a waveform obtained over there. See friends, you can click any of the waveform which you desire or you can untick any of the waveform which you don't want for further see I'm taking this three of the waveforms over there let me complete this see you can see on my first initial attempt I can get this three waveforms if you want two waveforms you can uh, continue with this but I am taking three of them and I'm uh, as as of now. If I have to save this waveform, just click on the send to figure. A new window will pop up. This window is a editable pop up. Here you can easily edit the waveform. In order to edit this, go to the edit. Go to the figure properties. Here, here you can see a new window will pop up click on any waveform which you need to highlight or which you need to change the color if I have to change this color to the black 
if i have to th uh, move its thickness to the darker or more darker and you can also label this uh, as a uh, any x quantities like voltage see it will appear but generally x axis is kept for the time so i am writing time on the y axis you can label as a time or as a, as a voltage see voltage will appear now do to thick uh, thicken this output waveform you can just uh, simply tick on this uh, waveform and uh, change the color if you want just uh, see i'm making it more green and more dense you can make it a dot double dotted line single dotted line it can be none that won't be clearly seen see friends here i have got this waveform with my desired color you can also click this uh, click on the uh, scope font you can also change this font of this uh, whole text which you have written over there here are the some extra figure properties if you have to plot the z level x axis y axis you can do that you can also change the color of this axis you can get it dark you can get it grayish depending on your own choice okay in order to finish this as soon as possible in order to generate this i'm just quickly or uh, going through it okay so uh, right now the waveform is generated with my own desired color and with my own desired thickness so uh, if i have to save this okay i will going to the edit mode and copy figure now the figure which i have generated is copied now open any paint or any powerpoint presentation where you want to save this okay now can place control v see friends your image is saved you can save this wherever you want okay click on any jpeg see okay now it is save on my pc okay just minimize the whole content whole pop up windows over there see friends you will get a output waveform okay now you can crop this you can do anything with this waveform or you can edit this in your presentation okay or in your paper so here's the procedure similarly you can uh, close this window open this tab you can uh, select one single waveform or double waveform or the any waveform from the three output waveform this is the detail procedure which i have told to you and uh, this will give you the clear idea of how to save the output output waveform as a in jpeg format okay so thank you friends thank you if you like this video please uh, give it a thumbs up and uh, if you like my channel click on subscribe thank you